other one is the properties of bamboo is one basis other is the common man needs of bamboo for bamboo common man needs uh, is another uh, uh, basis for uh, application of bamboo the third uh, basis for application of bamboo is the sustainable sustainability requirements so i will touch on this and go into more details of the engineering and research part of it so number one we we'll talk about the properties of bamboo fundamentally we should all know and everybody knows it is a very lightweight material and of a low density number two it is uh, it is sustainable and it is renewable i think uh, very eminent speakers have spoken in the past about uh, uh, how it is renewable how fast it grows one and a half feet a day and it's all measured so it is very lightweight it is renewable it means you keep cutting uh, and it keeps coming and then uh, i have mentioned the tensile strength of bamboo and then bamboo in different forms for example bamboo has a form of uh, uh, pulp you know which has got a uh, 300% more absorption capacity compared to the cotton pulp and then the calorific value of bamboo is very significant that is another property of bamboo and then the what are the other issues it can has the ability to replace coal it has the ability to replace steel and it has the ability to replace plastic and you see and there are several things of this kind uh, and it, it contains a high amount of serious properties on which we are basing the applications the second point is the common man needs what is the most common man uh, need today common man in a rural area or a semi urban area or even in urban area is the housing there is a huge potential for bamboo to be applied in the housing especially on the bamboo reinforced cement concrete in in pillars in beams and in slabs and the advantage is you get a 40% cost reduction straight away so and that is one uh, common man need for housing where there is a bamboo application the second common man need is the health in the current pandemic how can bamboo help people with the way we are suffering for oxygen for example i will talk about the products that can be made out of bamboo uh, for the improving the health in the current specific uh, pandemic situation what are the other health parameters for us uh, or for example the heat we face the suffering we have because of the heat and the dust we have and the agricultural crop problems and you know the power problems the fuel problems all these problems uh, can be addressed with bamboo and that is where the common need category comes in and the third mr. basis for us mr murthy sir sustainability requirement sustainability is to go long not only for our consumption for our future generation consumption suppose mr. we dig every mr. damn murthy. thing available mr. under the ground we have nothing left out then you don't have anybody else to uh, for example the coal what is uh, what is happening today today the problem is you have coal uh, and then you know what's happening out of pollution out of it so so uh, we need to talk about the sustainability requirement so fundamental sustainability requirement is taking care of uh, environment for example what is environment problems we need clean air we need clean water we need clean energy we need clean fuel we need clean food so this is a, a swachh bharat extension that is another words called for a clean india so to preserve this panchabhutas for example the land the air the the water all these things have to be preserved and conserved and purified and that is where bamboo plays a wonderful role so sustainability is the second requirement in society what is the societal problems as i mentioned societal needs are the health needs for example societal needs are livelihood needs you know so all the uh, situations of for required for the society are also taken care by and i will explain that how that is mr murthy the one is the income mr. level mr murthy the economy so and that's why it is so uh, uh, with this basis uh, i think uh, we will go into the powerpoint and then i will run through the various uh, possibilities and then engineering and research comes into play by bringing in the products the processes and the services related to designing 
the products for all these things for all the requirements of common man needs and sustainability needs you know in terms of health in terms of housing all this how they are catered what products can be designed uh, from bamboo other than the basket story which all of us know so i think i would request to mr rangana uh, to help me to uh, play the uh, powerpoint yeah so let's go to the second one please second slide please yeah i met in 2006 a very long meeting with dr jeffrey sachs the special advisor to dr kofi annan at the time he was the secretary general for united nations and i had a wonderful chat with him of uh, various topics on sustainability and he is the author for millennium development goals dr jeffrey sachs and later on it has become sustainability development goals on his advice i had been to africa and met a lot of people and where i have seen how the bamboo saw bamboo is used in water tanks in housing and several other applications so my inspiration to me on sustainability comes from dr jeffrey sachs a very well known man uh, in the economy and uh, uh, he was in the university of columbia as well on the earth sciences at new york go to the next please and the first thing is after, as i was a uh, eminent friend dr bharti has always been talking of ethanol from bamboo you know you produce ethanol from bamboo through pyrolysis on a low oxygen uh, you get the ethanol out of bamboo cng out of bamboo hydrogen out of bamboo so uh, very recently on the environment day there is an announcement by the honorable prime minister so you have up to 20% uh, mixing of uh, ethanol in petrol Uh, you know uh, allowed uh, in uh, uh, in india and it is at the moment it is at to 10% level and uh, in in pune especially they have gone up they have permitted even up to 100% ethanol and the advantage is you will get the price up to 60 rupees a liter and that is the effort uh, bioethanol that means ethanol from the bio material from bamboo because dr bharti must have explained in the past that it is much much advantageous and beneficial in terms of yield as much as 12000 liters for an acre of bamboo plantation and imagine next slide please our honorable minister nitin gadkari ji has mentioned that uh, ethanol is going to be a 20 billion uh, 20 billion market uh, in india and that's going to be bamboo ethanol in the future because it's far better than sugar cane and uh, corn uh, in india and today if you look at it the turnover of uh, uh, from bamboo in china today as close as to 40 billion dollars against indian turnover of half a billion indian rupees see we are less than more than 100 times less than china see the kind of china's application on bamboo is much much far higher though we have double the plantation in india about bamboo bamboo plantation in india is about 10 million hectares against chinese uh, hectare plantation is 4 and 1/2 4 and 1/2 billion hectares we have double the plantation area uh, double the area of bamboo plantation in india but we are 100 times less than the in the business of bamboo because it has only been thought as a basket or an agarbatti or this way and people have to no believe they have no idea so we need to apply it in pro, in pilots and may let people see for example i will tell you one thing the as i said the housing is a very common area so the next next slide please see this is the statement by uh, gadkari ji bamboo to ethanol india's biofuel industry to explode to 15 billion market and that's why we have to look at seriously from the engineering side of it next please how that is done uh, in the indian of science they have got a uh, Uh, center for gasification and propulsion laboratory where our chairman also came in the past dr naik ji where uh, they have uh, producing power using bamboo as a bio feed up to uh, 10 million 10 uh, 10 kilowatts 50 kilowatts 500 kilowatts and beyond power and this has also been explained by dr bharti in the past uh, slides this is a, i'm thankful this one of those slides next please 
anyway we'll talk of charcoal another big story of the engineering application of bamboo in the coming slides next please next please <coughs> This is how the ethanol is being made. For example, in Bamboo Society of India, we have a student membership of close to 480 members. And we have more than 10 clean technology clubs where the student members of Bamboo Society of India do several projects. And one of the club in uh, Bhuvaneshwar, they made ethanol from their lab in the laboratory using the powder and by a, super, by a rotary evaporator. I will show you how they made ethanol even in a laboratory out of bamboo dust. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, you can see uh, 15,000 liters that comes out as an ethanol. Next, please. Yeah, you can see the production out of corn, but corn is the, uh, you know, is an edible story. And if you look at the US and Brazil, they produce ethanol from corn and we have the luxury and God's gift of bamboo and we have the double the area of plantation of bamboo in India compared to China, which is getting $40 billion business. It's a huge business. Next, please. Anyway, this is all about the process of uh, how the ethanol is being made. More of theory. Just for understanding purposes, I put it. So let's understand what is the focus area and what all we all should do, how all we know about, what we should know about bamboo and its potential for the human good uh, and business good and for social good and sustainability good in overall. Next, please. This is what is done uh, by a simple small student who produced the ethanol out of bamboo in the laboratory. Next, please. It's a rotary operator. Next, please. Now, this is what is a, you can see uh, using bamboo of a 500 kilowatts. How they do is they produce uh, in low oxygen synthetic gas or a producer gas. And this runs a ga gas engine of cumin's make. And that is connected to an alternator. And that produces 500 kilowatts useful for the plant. This is also shown by Dr. Bharti in one of his earlier uh, you know, uh, ad address. Next one, please. Anyway, let's talk of a very common thing uh, of how we can look at bamboo bicycles. See, today, how do we make bamboo popular? To my mind, we can make it popular by using it in our housing, at least a small housing, or in the first floors, or in making temples, wherever when people can see, because people only will believe bamboo only when they see. So we as bamboo, uh, enthusiasts should show to people how bamboo is useful to them. They think it will catch fire, it will not stand, it will have the rodents and all that. But you have seen the treatment of bamboo for construction in earlier wonderful uh, speakers have told how bamboo has to be treated before it goes for construction. So it is a must that bamboo for construction has to be treated well before it is used in the construction, whether it is a slab or a beam or a column or whatever it is. Uh, anyway, next slide, please. Next slide, please. Now, uh, one of our uh, student community in one of the colleges where there's a clean technology club in Kerala, they have made uh, a, a formula race car with bamboo composite body and one they won a three lakhs prize internationally. This is from uh, Trivandrum in Kerala. So sustainability on wheels, that means the body on the wheels. So if you are talking of a transport vehicle, it in a rural situation, I'll come to that later on, uh, it is possible to make out of a bamboo composite. Next, please. How a bicycle is made? Very simple. You to remove the steel. So bamboo reduces the usage of steel. Bamboo reduces usage of plastic. Bamboo reduces usage of coal. Imagine the amount of potential if you go into great details. Why bamboo for bicycle? The advantage is it reduces vibration. The entire weight comes to you within 10 kilos and it absorbs the shocks. It is fantastic for you to ride a bamboo bike, bicycle, and you will know how comfortable it is to go around 
even when you your road is not proper or very smooth next please you can see this bamboo bicycle clear next please next please anyway before that uh, uh, i had one slide given to mr ranganath i don't know whether i can see that bicycle now uh, one of our own medra community people have uh, uh, made a bicycle uh, you are taking the help of a ordinary cycle shop guy so don't think this is all super duper high tech see question is when uh, i'll tell you an example in tata steel in uh, jamshedpur 5000 employees have been instructed by the chairman to go on bicycles then they understood the importance of bicycle we in rural areas we know what is bicycle but the moment you do bicycle in bamboo you see the benefit and comfort to the rider cost reduction number 2 and then you put an electrical small motor it becomes an electrical vehicle so these are the things that are possible and today several people not necessarily big factories they are assembling electrical bicycles i am now talking of electrical bamboo bicycle but before we go into that uh, i think uh, uh, i need to anyway let me go through this and i'll talk of the products now this is uh, a simple housing how do we make bamboo visible to everybody no what i said is a common common issue is the housing if you want to make a slab of this kind you replace the steel and this is how a slab is made and this slab is made in epirity which is 9 years old now so far by trainees ordinary simple simple madra trainees nothing difficult next please see this is how it is done before you put the cement concrete on there so you are partially using steel like a mesh only to that extent and balance the uh, all the members are of ba uh, bamboo slits these are all uh, we must make sure they are all treated once i am not talking how to treat bamboo because it has been said enough we know how to make plantations we know how to treat bamboo now we have to see how to use bamboo the problem in bamboo is we have less information on utilization uh, other than what we know like a basket agarbatti or a uh, you know hut or a lumber or a cottage you know beyond that we need to go very fast like so that if we catch up the china you know only then we can make sense of uh, making uh, more livelihoods to people and you know on so on and so forth now at the same point i have another thing to tell you what is called bamboo leaf ash bamboo contains high amount of silica as i mentioned to you in the properties basis when you have more silica when you have more silica bamboo leaf ash or bamboo wood ash when mixed with 10% in cement by volume the compressive strength goes up by 8% this is proven by our free technology club students any uh, earlier people used to use a fly ash but the more silica content is in bamboo so bamboo leaf ash when mixed with cement by 10% the compressive strength goes by 8% that means you can add the load for a lesser cost 10% saving on 10% uh, saving and add the cost of the cost of the leaf the ash even if you take out 2% out of it even if you get a minimum conservative 5% saving of cost on cement it's a great saving and it's a great earning for the people who can collect the uh, bamboo leaves thrown on the ground here and there and other waste materials out of bamboo so that is the story of bamboo leaf ash and that is the story of bamboo reinforced cement concrete bamboo reinforced cement concrete has a huge application in the rural development today number one making water tanks number two as a distribution good for making roads number three for making rural drains you replace you reduce the steel usage number four you use it for refrigeration i'll tell you how to use it for refrigeration without power you can make cold storage rooms in the villages for keeping the vegetables for a very long time all that you have to do is you have to connect the wet pads 
wet pad what we use on the air coolers on the side charcoal and the key key property of bamboo charcoal is it has a porosity of 1200 1100 meter square uh, uh, meter square per gram they say one teaspoon of bamboo activated charcoal surface area is equal to one football ground so if that is the porosity it has the ability to absorb it has the ability to control the water it has the ability to control the humidity when you say you need to have a product design to reduce the uh, humidity what we are facing in chennai what we are facing in all the coastal areas the construction part of bamboo reinforcement comes into a major application in all the coastal areas why and that's how i found it why why it is because in the rural area in the coastal areas the steel that is inside the columns and beams that gets rusted and that's where i examined i went to a place called vinukonda exactly 11 years ago and made a study of 1300 houses which are built out of bamboo slabs bamboo reinforced cement concrete slabs bamboo uh, columns and pillars and beams which i will show you in the next slide and they are already at that time 21 years old that means they have crossed so far 30 32 years old and in forest research institute where all our great ifs friends have gone there in the 1978 they made a bamboo uh, slab reinforced slab and it is still growing strong this has been told to me by one of the senior ifs friends so what i want to say is it's a proven fact nobody has to fear oh it will collapse it will burn these are all only uh, uh, less known systems all that you have to do is make a small pilot of it see where it is and then you can add on uh, because it will raise, save your cost number one by 40 percent number two it will reduce the temperature by two and a half degrees centigrade so the suffering of heat is taken away and another thing i don't know whether dr bharati mentioned a kg of dust can be collected by bamboo plantation if you are keeping it around i had a school where there is a club uh, where i had a college where there is a club and that college was surrounded fully by the stone crushing plants what that college did after my advice they put bamboo plantation along the border like a fence all around the college and they reduced the dust getting onto the uh, students uh, tables and chairs in inside this college so we need to understand that bamboo not only produces oxygen 35% more than others from the health point of view, but it also absorbs the dust. The heat, the dust, the oxygen, the carbon dioxide, these are the issues for the health of a human being. And housing is another common one. These are the different applications of bamboo. Whole idea is to get clean air, clean water, clean energy, and the ground. And we'll come to the ground part of it in the time ahead. Next, please. This is what in Ipiriti the trainees have done uh, uh, with the bamboo uh, reinforced slab. You know, I think our own chair, respected chairman, came that day. He, he took the initiative to climb on the top and uh, inspect it for a while. This, I think, almost about seven years ago. So it's a very simple thing. The advantage you get is the slab thickness is very less, two and a half inches to three inches. And of course, you use the bamboo grid on the side walls. You can reduce the thickness you reduce the cost and uh, slab cost you reduce by 27 percent and the wall cost you reduce by 11 percent and the foundation cost you reduce by about seven or eight percent and these are the calculations made by ibrity only thing is people have done it they just forget it it does not it does not work if we do one and leave it all of us bamboo lovers must tell others what we learned only then bamboo can be seen and uh, uh, otherwise they will continue to think it is a hut or agarbati or a basket. Next, please. Now you see the beam. This is what I have seen 11 years ago, and that has crossed 30 years plus. In a common middle class house, I have seen this. And I have seen 1300 houses in a place called Vinukonda in Andhra Pradesh. Since the masters did not believe it, and when the minister laid a foundation, he did not know all the houses built are made with the bamboo reinforcement. Later on, he came to know. Otherwise, the uh, town planning people, all the engineers, they say they don't know what it is inside. Next, please. This is another beam, a covered beam. 
Next, please. I'm talking about bamboo reinforced cement concrete. Now, this is one of our own uh, member of Bamboo Society of India made his complete first floor with bamboo reinforcement. See how nice it looks. It is in Mahbub Nagar. Next, please. Several things of bamboo I'm talking. Uh, next, please. Uh, this is very interesting to see. Uh, now we come to the talk of the charcoal. Charcoal, you know, what you get after heating it, under superheating it, you know. Uh, and it is, it, is, it is not very difficult to make because we have several uh, uh, brick kilns available, you know. And uh, we can convert them into the charcoal making into every area. And what you see in the center of this shoe is a simple mat, like a felt, felt cotton felt like thing, impregnated with the activated charcoal. And you keep it in the shoe, your smell will go away. If you keep it in the kitchen, your smell goes away. If you keep it in the bathroom, your smell goes away. So water control is one simple thing. Now, other day, I was talking to Central Leather Research Institute in uh, Chennai, Gindi, and asked them why they did not solve the problem of the foul smell that comes when uh, uh, leather is uh, uh, processed. When you go to a place like Rani Pet, when you go to like let's say Vayambadi, Vanambadi and all, when the train passes between Bangalore to Chennai, you get the dirty smell. And this is not addressed so far because we still permit smell to go. Anyway, we are drinking bad water. Take a take a uh, container of uh, glass container of water bottle and then filter it through bamboo activated charcoal. It becomes absolute white. It adds minerals. If you take bamboo activated charcoal as per the prescription into the into the body, it, it develops far infrared rays and that will help your blood circulation. There are several things of this kind from the health point of view. So water control is one. We are all suffering in Chennai with so much of humidity. humidity. All that you have to do is you put the activated charcoal in a simple bowl to for several purposes. Not only for water control, I will come to the product point of view now, not only for the uh, water control, uh, but you know, uh, if, you, if you keep a small one in a small uh, container near your television or near your, uh, uh, what do you call, laptop, all that, that uh, positive ions that are coming out are emitted by the electromagnetic waves are being absorbed uh, with the activated charcoal. So charcoal in different form, you may make it in a sachet form, you make it in nice flower waste form, sell it. It all depends upon the creativity of the designer to make in what format he wants to present charcoal. But the material is charcoal. And here is a case where uh, shoe people are selling this as a, an edity, additional thing that will they will charge you 40, 50 rupees for each of them. Anyway, next please. I think we missed some slides. I don't know whether I missed. I don't know. Anyway, uh, 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 IIT Kharagpur. Okay, well, let's, this has come. Let me talk about it. This is a bamboo umbrella. You can see in the YouTube uh, how to make this uh, uh, umbrella. You know, this is then. Then what is all about it? It could be an air cooled umbrella. It's an air conditioned umbrella. If you can make it, all that you do is put a small solar panel, small one on the top, right? So it produces power. And then you keep a small, small mini fan, which is toy fan available in the center, fix it. And to the side, uh, to the fan around, you put a mat like what I showed you in the, in the shoe, you know, that's a wet pad. We call them wet pads. What are wet pads? If you go to Nagpur, if you go to the places, we have got so many thousands of air coolers sold. They put cascas material, they put all sorts of things around so that to make you cool. All that you have to do is put the same cotton felt, I don't know, you understand, felt or cotton impregnated with the activated charcoal. Why activated charcoal? Because it has got uh, more holes inside. It is highly porous. It is 1200 meters square per gram. So in that, the water will be inside. It will not dry so fast like a, a simple uh, wet cloth. You know, in summer, what are we doing? When you are going in the summer, you take a kerchief, you put it in the water and put on your face and you become cool. Why? And that is what is called evaporative cooling. What does it mean? The water 
evaporates and then it takes sucks the heat away from you similarly if you keep a small fan around it a wet pad with bamboo activated charcoal impregnated or kept on the tub it will make your life very cool if you are traveling in some hot place with an umbrella there are two ways of it you can go an ordinary umbrella so that you get a shade but at the same time if you if you have uh, a a bamboo activated wet pad just i showed you what is there uh, in the in the shoe you know and that makes you cooler so these are the projects these are simple simple things to make our life simple from heat dust pollution uh, all those uh, uh, things now let me come into a little more serious uh, way into the sustainable engineering we call it or we call it as a application or the research part of it number 1 today we are all suffering from pandemic so what is the problem one major problem that has come out of this corona story is oxygen supply so oxygen supply is supplied from the steel plants in a big container in the uh, uh, what do you call they send through the uh, what do you call trains and all that kind is one way of doing it but they are also selling hundreds and thousands of oxygen concentrators these oxygen concentrators are available today from 60000 rupees to 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees everywhere it is sold in huge number we do not know the numbers i have checked up in the for the past 6 7 months few thousands have been sold few hundreds i don't know it may be uh, even a more than a lakh was sold at a price of 60000 to 1 lakh rupees now the raw material used in all these oxygen concentrators is a lithium zeolite a material called lithium zeolite it is a material which you have to take out from the ground and what is the quality of this lithium zeolite it is a high porous material and that's where exactly bamboo charcoal comes into play now there is what is called carbon fiber composite molecular sieve carbon fiber molecular sieve in the place of the lithium zeolite carbon fiber made out of bamboo is called bamboo carbon fiber so if you know how to make a carbon fiber out of bamboo then car bamboo carbon fiber um, composite let us leave is a replacement to oxygen concentrator manufacture now colleges have been asked in kerala to make this in about 10000 rupees because they want to place an order for 1 lakh numbers the chief secretary there from the kerala so oxygen concentrator is an essential item for producing oxygen at 90% oxygen level but in normal air we contains oxygen and nitrogen oxygen at 21% balance is nitrogen so our job in an oxygen concentrator product is to separate the nitrogen of from the oxygen and take the oxygen and maximize only oxygen for supply to the patient so what are we doing we have in oxygen concentrator a compressor it sucks the uh, air from the atmosphere and then it has got the raw material called lithium zeolite and that sieves and separates oxygen and nitrogen through what is called pressure uh, adsorption uh, pressure swing adsorption that's a, that's all complicated so then there is a, if you are using the bamboo story it becomes electrical swing adsorption by varying the voltage and this is the what the discussion i had with the director of isro in trivandrum a month ago they are working on it so so this is a research area then coming to the next point of health of the bamboo application is 80 90% of all of us are today for another 6 months or one year going to focus to be more in the house than going into the groups and uh, meeting people so what do we require we require to purify our air so there is what is called air purifiers air purifiers use enormous amounts of activated charcoal inside they also use hepa filters if you look into the car automotives they use uh, uh, cabin filters using the activated charcoal but the activated charcoal known to the world so far majority of them is only is only the coconut shell uh, charcoal but bamboo activated charcoal is several many many times more uh, uh, more efficient than coconut shell 
So if somebody wants to uh, use coconut shell, it's a limited information we have, but nobody has understood why bamboo activated charcoals are used. Now, another important thing for bamboo activated charcoal for the health point of view, as I said, is for an air purification inside the house. If you are using it in an air purifier, air purifier is a product. Oxygen concentrator is a product. These products have to be designed by engineers, by mechanical engineers. So we tell all these things to the mechanical, electrical, electronics, computer science, and chemical engineering fellows. What all that they can do using bamboo as a sustainable material because of its lightweight, its porosity, its silica content, its electromagnetic wave radiation properties, its ability to have negative ions. When I talk of negative ions, bamboo contains negative ions. Negative ions are essential to make a person calm, to reduce his blood pressure. You go to a bamboo plantation, sit for 10 minutes and come back, how you feel you know that. I think Dr. Bharti has mentioned about oxygen parks around meditation centers. I am not touching the plantation part of it, where most of our bamboo super experts are available to tell you how to go about, how to plant bamboo. What is important is, what is the engineering side of bamboo is very important for us to know. So if you're talking of the uh, negative ions, negative ions has, uh, has the benefit to calm down a, a human being, right? Now, now we need to look at uh, ionizer making from bamboo. Uh, using the uh, bamboo activated charcoal. Now, in one party in, uh, in uh, what do you call uh, Indira Nagar, makes one uh, Bangalore, makes an ionizer, and they are selling around 30,000 rupees one product. So, if you want to make your uh, inside the room uh, to reduce, to increase the oxygen content, purify the air, and take out the uh, pollen, take out the bacteria, take out the uh, what do you call. Uh, your allergens, uh, it becomes very essential. All that simple thing, all that you have to do is very, very simple. Buy in Amazon, 400 grams, 200 grams of bamboo activated charcoal, put in a flower vase, keep it near to your television, keep it near your uh, TV, uh, your uh, laptop. So it helps you from the radiation. It helps you from the positive disease ions and it makes your room more sterile. What more do you want to make your life better, sterile while you are sitting inside, not only outside, oxygen or oxygen tunnels or oxygen parts. That's on the plantation side it comes. So, so there are several applications of this kind that comes uh, to our mind. BMW uh, automotive company uses bamboo in the steerings, for example, is a product. For example, uh, the other day, Mahindra and Mahindra automotive company started planning to make washers instead of metal washer. You know, all of you know washer, washers instead of metal washers using bamboo washers because bamboo absorbs vibration. That is what I told you in this. Now, if you're talking of, uh, in, you are designing a small load carrier in a rural village, you require to have a bumper so that somebody hits you, you are saved. You have seen bumpers in uh, two-wheeler motorcycles are all tubes, but select species of bamboo also can replace bumping. So where do we use bumping? We use bumping in the, uh, in the load carriers or rickshaws, whatever we have in the rural areas. And also when you got boating, you know, when the boat comes onto the uh, shore, what happens? You come and hit the shore or the wall, whatever you got it, uh, where you uh, lock it uh, with a rubber. In addition to rubber, you can use the bamboo and bamboo is used in go-kart races as a circular, uh, what do you call, uh, circular bumper. So it is an application as a bumper for absorbing the uh, impact. So the engineers understand these qualities of bamboo and use that for the benefit of human beings, for the benefit of environment. And there are several things of this kind, if I can go on and uh, you know uh, tell you, uh, I think I'm on the time. So, so uh, what we need to do is, uh, I, I, I request all the people, I think about 46 people are here listening to me. I wanted to request to find out uh, uh, find out how many uh, how many uh, of you are members of Bamboo Society of India. So my request to you is those who have not become members of Bamboo Society of India, please do become, and then uh, please bring in your contacts you to the area of engineering, to the area of research, to the area of plantation, and whatever is the various parts of bamboo, whether it is a utilization or a 
uh, whatever is our various sections we have uh, in uh, in uh, uh, bamboo you know so another thing is that comes to my mind to tell you is uh, we had a problem in vartur lake with foam a tremendous amount of foam and and bamboo act activated charcoal absorbs foam in a big way it is for the bbmp to take action why because we they, they need to know how important is the uh, bamboo and bamboo act that's where we are all working together such as calvers and experts in our group of bamboo society of india members each one is struggling to make people know that it is not just a basket agarbatti or a poor man hut or a big cottage alone but we have much more things see there are several other issues i have not touched of the huge construction data details yeah, and uh, another interesting thing i should tell you is uh, after the cesarean operation uh, women can use bamboo belly bands a belly band is like a belt and bamboo is activated charcoal is a anti fungal and anti bacterial so it is like you just like you know when you go abroad you put that thing and to put your uh, uh, you know uh, passport and all no? like that you you need to put a belly band just like a belt or you know people uh, with a neck problem we keep that or no like that a band that will help the women after the cesarean operation that means it has a huge medical application the several things i can go on and tell you and the simple thing i will tell you for rural development i told you rural drains rural water tanks rural sheds rural toilets all these are small medium sized constructions where we can start from there i don't say you go and build a big complex out of bamboo no you understand it properly and build but unless we show we build nobody will believe it otherwise we will only be talking in conferencing and it's good for us to each one of you whoever is listening to me try to make an effort in implementing bamboo propagation in its applications please do write to me to the uh, to the bamboo society of india address a letter to the chairman or ec about your questions all questions in the engineering side or on the technology side to the extent i know to the extent i learned from others i will try to uh, give you back there is also what is called bamboo plastic for example now hydrogen vehicles are coming containers of hydrogen vehicles can be done i am not talking of the cng hydrogen and ethanol petrol productions which dr bharti uh, a very resourceful person on these topics who has already spoken to you i think uh, i have got my time 11:30 uh, thank you very much and especially thank our respected chairman for giving this chance for me uh, to share my mind with such learned people uh, who are around listening to me and uh, anybody any queries which not answered here now possible can be addressed to bamboo society of india which if is pertaining to my knowledge area i will come back on that thank you one and all i am open to questions please thank you kp murthy sir for your insightful presentation it was interesting to see the various areas of bamboo application right from lifestyle construction and power generation covered in your topic thank you very much once again for this lovely presentation now we move on to q and a um, there's a question from mr venkatesh bamboo umbrella is there any chance of rotting any chance of rotting yes because of the uh, moisture well uh, the other side of the coin is bamboo is known to retain moisture number one but the question is any now these bamboo umbrellas if you let him check uh, through the uh, what do you call uh, uh, is it our bank is talking no sir okay okay uh, bamboo uh, is uh, uh, treated bamboo is used for any activity that is exposed to the atmosphere that's to be understood clearly then when you treat a bamboo and take it out it performs better uh, so um, it has no uh, impact uh, of uh, uh, you know rotting it has a live life of course you know you need to check this uh, from the northeastern areas the number of years it works of course we have our own umbrellas which tear and wear uh, all sorts of things which we are using umbrellas so one can be rest assured that uh, it does not uh, will not rot only thing is my point is uh, he is going to use it more in summer as a cooler that was my intention 
I am not talking of the purpose for a rain. Purpose for a rain is normal umbrella will do. Of course, bamboo umbrellas are also used for rain. But what I am talking on the engineering side, how to make a air cooled umbrella? That was my point of view. Okay, thank you, sir. So essentially, uh, we will be using treated bamboo for uh, construction of the bamboo umbrella. That's an important topic, uh, which has been dealt very nicely by our FRI friends, you know, Kishore. Uh, in the past, uh, wonderful uh, um, and, uh, programs we had in the webinars. So it is an important subject. For example, if you go to Germany, in Munich, all mechanical engineers go through the wood science as a compulsory subject. Okay. So treatment is a part of wood science. Treatment Thanks. is to be understood clearly before anybody does. Nobody should touch something without knowing it. So they need to check people. They do make small beginnings, make yeah. pilots, and uh, help us to... Uh, help us our bamboo society uh, to show uh, the usefulness of bamboo in only then we can uh, not only be useful to the environment but to the livelihoods and for the uh, income out of it at the end it should be a profitable business and so next, next question sir how many stories can be constructed using bamboo one plus one i have seen two so far okay Two, and I think. Uh, and the uh, best thing is one should do is wherever there is already a, an old building where they want to go for first, reduce your cost by fifty percent straight away. Go for bamboo. Okay. E so, let us do easy things first. Uh, like somebody said, can I make a complex out of bamboo? No, answer is no, because we don't know the uncertainties of load coming on that. Yes. Once we are clear, see what I said is uh, dwellings like you know cattle shed, fencing. Poles, several things that are possible. Not only rural, semi-urban, uh, madigis. Mad you don't, I know you understand madigis. Shops, shops. You know they make uh, first floor. Answer is first floor. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, and we uh, like to move on to our next presentation. So thank you so much, Mr. Thank Anand, you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Kipimurthy. Okay, I'm going to stop share right now.